Welcome in another episode of Sudoku Tutorial. I'm recording this episode as I have received a few suggestions of some improvements that can be added to make this game even better. In this episode we will focus to implement visual improvement to square selection logic and in the next episode we will add new feature to serve some hints for the player. If you want to support this channel and help me create more tutorials, please consider subscribe. Click the subscribe button down below this video and turn on notification so you will not miss any future episode I release. So let's get started. Let's open our project. And first of all, I want to show you what we're going to change. So when you start the game, you will see that all of the defaulted numbers are looking exactly the same as the number you input. So as you see, I inputted number 9 and the number 9 looks exactly the same as number 8 and number 6. There is no really difference between those numbers. So once you put more, many more numbers, it's really hard to say which number is defaulted one, which is not. So this is one thing which we're going to change. All of the defaulted number will have a bold font. And then if you will try to select the default number, you will not be able to do that because the highlight will not be displayed. So the player will straight, straight away know that this, the selected number is a defaulted one and it cannot be modified. I mean, the number cannot be modified now, but it's really the visual representation doesn't, doesn't say anything like that. So let's go to the scripts folder and then open the grid square class. And inside this class, let's go to the display text function, which should be, which should be here. And we're going to modify this function. So right below the else statement, I will add another if has default value. So if this current square have default value, we're going to grab the number number text dot get component and we want to get the text component dot font style will be equal to font style dot bold okay so if the current square have a default value we're gonna make the the font bold okay so there will be distinguished between normal value and the default value so this is one thing which we need to change but in order to do so as we checking the has default value we need to go to the to the sudoku grid class and now let's go to the set grid square data and we need to change the order of the scrolling functions so we need to move the set default value to be called first okay so i will just grab this line of code i will just cut it and paste it at the top so make sure you're calling this function before anything else when you're actually setting the grid square square data so once you've done that you can save everything so file save and then when you go back to unity so now when you start the game press play as you see all of the numbers are bold to just verify that if you go to the canvas then grid and then select the the square where is where have the default value so one two three four five one two three four five so the fifth one should have the text text bold so everything is correct and then the square above should have the text normal okay so all of the normal numbers will be will have a font style normal and the default one will be will have the will, will be bold okay you can change whatever you like with this but i think this distinguishes subtle and this actually showing the difference between the defaulted value and the normal value then another thing we want to change is we don't want to be able to select this uh, the default value so let's do that now let's go back to our sudoku grid class let's open it and let's go to to the function on square selected okay so inside this function Currently, whenever we select anything, we're just setting those colors. So let's just 
go under the square and then put the f statement so if the grid square at square index dot get component grid square dot has is get has default value is equal to false make sure you put double equal sign and then let's open the brace and then close the brace after setting the the square color okay so if this value is not the default one we wanna we wanna we wanna set all of those colors but otherwise so if we try to select the default value we wanna get we wanna loop through all of the squares and set color to white so for each grid square in grid squares let's cast the component so component will be equal to grid square dot get component grid grid square And then if the component dot has wrong value equal to false, and comp dot is selected is equal to false, we want to do the comp dot set square color and we want to pass color white okay so now when you save everything and when you go back to unity okay everything has compiled when you press play you will see that if we try to select any of the default value which has been already put, we cannot do that. So let's try to select anything different. So as you see, everything else is, is looking okay. So let's try to try to get another val another set. Okay, so we say 285. So I will try to find find the data for this game to just test and see how everything looks. So I will open the Sudoku data. And let's try to find five two eight five. It's not this. I think that's gonna be it. So the first numbers should be three six four. Okay, let's try to put three six and four. So as you see, there is a different. There is a subtle different, but I think it's. Uh, is different enough to see which the value is uh, is different which is not if you like you can change the color of this of this font for the defaulted value but i think the the bold value the bold font is is fine okay so i think that's everything everything works fine now and as you see everything is everything is working as it should okay so I hope this tutorial was useful. In the next episode, I will show you how you can add the hint to the game. So there will be additional hint button inside the game, which will let player to get the hint for the game once he will watch the, the rewarded video ad. So thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next episode.